Hi everybody. Now let's go over your assignment and you have a video assignment. Now in this particular um, assignment you're basically you might notice in Blackboard at the very left side where all the little um, links are for Blackboard but at the very bottom part of the box with the color blue you will find a title or a group there that will be one of the chapters in our textbook for this semester. Now I want to be sure you're clear that you're not actually in a group. That is just your topic. So there's about six or seven people in each of the chapters. So that's just for topic purposes. Okay and what you're going to do is you're going to find a topic within that chapter. If you've got the chapter um, learning then you will look through that chapter and see what it is that you want to research to understand how it will have an impact on your life or your professional life. And you know, what impact might it have and how will it benefit you? Now what you'll need to do is you're going to use the Georgian College database to find two academically valid articles that you can use to help with your research question. Now, I'm really emphasizing your use of the Georgian College Library. If you're using the database, there is a little um, check mark that you, can, that you can click on that scholarly peer-reviewed option. And that really just boosts the credibility and reliability of sources that, that, that will be brought to your attention. Now, this is a video making assignment. So, I'm recommending that you're using Screencast-O-Matic. It's a screen recorder. It doesn't record you. It records what's on your screen of your computer and your voice. And you're going to create a PowerPoint based on your topic. And you're going to create that with lots of images and very little text. You'll write all the text that you want to have in a script. And then you'll read the script into a microphone of your computer and your computer will record with Screencast-O-Matic what's on your screen and your voice and that will become a video. Alright, now that's going to be due on November 25th, at a, that's week 11 at 5 p.m. no later. If you have it done sooner than that, which I hope you do, you can post it sooner but you cannot post it after that because that journal will disappear at 5 o'clock on November 25th. Now on page three, I just walk you through a little bit of a summary of kind of how will you go about do this? What is a suggested approach to completing this task? And at the bottom, I start with a step-by-step -step instructions. So please read this very carefully. Make sure you do the best you can to understand. And then make sure you also watch this video. Now some of the things that's important, you're going to be doing a video that's between 10 and 15 minutes long. Now in that video you're going to introduce what is the topic that you've decided on that you've been assigned in terms of the chapter and how have the articles helped answer your question. Now this is also something you have to consider in terms of what implications will there be to your future potential, your future profession or in your own personal life. Now. In addition, what's important to be, to be really aware of here is when doing this assignment, no personal opinion and no quotes from your sources. What's important here is to summarize the author's perspective and share that with me, your audience. Okay? So 10 to 15 minutes, no less or no more. There's marks removed for being too short or being too lengthy. You need to make a script that's a PDF that you save as a PDF and two pieces of research from the library which you can download from the online library in a PDF format. And then when you do your video, I'm recommending you use Screencast-O-Matic. The link is available in the, in the document and you can set up an account with them which I would recommend you do because that will allow you to create a share link in the same way that YouTube creates a share link that you can take the URL and send it to somebody that they can watch the same video. So please, when you do your Screencast-O-Matic or if you choose to use YouTube, make sure you only post the share URL link and your 
two pieces of research as a PDF and your script as a PDF. Please do not post your MOV movie or MP4 movie. The files are too big and not everybody will get their file in. Okay? So what gets handed in, as I've said several times, a video link, a PDF of your um, script, and the two pieces of research in a, um, a PDF format. Now the, the last page, the fifth page, is looking at the rubrics. Now I really want to emphasize that the first two categories are the most point heavy. Multimedia presentation and summary. What's needed in the multimedia to get the most value out of that is to don't put a whole lot of text in. A word or a sentence on a slide is ample. More pictures, images, graphs, graphics, not text. And then the summary is really just about making sure that you summarize the research in your own words without quotes and no opinion. And how did they help you answer your question? Okay, so that's going to be most important in terms of your, uh, your assignment is to focus it on yourself. How does, this, how does your topic enhance or in some way um, aid in your professional or personal life? The other elements in the rubrics to remind you is about length of the video about whether you've included a script that's in a PDF format and that you've got sources that were academically valid and from the Georgian site. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and I hope this is good luck. Now, bear in mind, now make sure that before you uh, email me with questions about the assignment, make sure you read it thoroughly and make sure you watch this video. All right. And it makes it a lot easier for me to answer your question when you can be specific. All right, everyone. Good luck. Carry on the good fight, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.